Webster's Dictionary defines adventure as an undertaking usually involving danger or unknown risk, or an exciting or remarkable experience. This is a short story about our adventure. My name is Matt, and this is Gone Digging. Here we go. So here's to adventure, great friends, good dives, fun times. Stay Cheers. Safe. Coming home alive. That's right. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm Gary Penta. I am from Central Florida, the west side of Orange County. Uh, my website is mydetecting.com. I uh, I'm pretty involved in the metal detecting, treasure hunting community. Everything from ring finding to treasure diving on the 1715 wreck sites, uh, metal detect, scuba dive. Um, pretty much you know anything to do with the community. I also uh, do a lot of treasure hunting, metal detecting related artwork. But, uh, about a year, year and a half ago, a couple friends just kept after me and encouraged me to, um, to take the plunge and so I did and it was a game changer. Um, now I just love being in the water all the time. So um, you know I've got a moderate amount of experience um, but I've had a lot of really super good teachers. So tomorrow we're getting ready to go out to uh, Cooper River, and that's another bucket list adventure for me is diving from MIG teeth. You know, diving on the treasure wreck was number one. Once that's out of the plate, out of the way, then uh, diving from MIG teeth. And so Matt extended an invitation to me, and um, I'm excited. So it's incoming pretty good already, ripping. That's nice though, it's steady, it doesn't look too bad. So it looks like we've uh, we've wrecked a map sensor on the boat. And uh, this nice gentleman over here has been kind enough, enough to uh, bring us back. Lucky for us, we were only about a quarter mile from the uh, boat ramp when the, uh, when the sensor gave out. So, we found somebody who's gonna give us a sensor and we're going to uh, we're gonna try to uh, salvage the day with a dive. So just the cost of adventuring. Boy, scuba divers go backwards out of the boat. bag from the second dive of the day. Oh man, this is getting that little out of hand. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Nice. I, I have to grab handfuls of teeth. Like, it's like dealing cards. There's a lot of fraglodons in there. That's a nice, look at that'll be cool cleaned up. Wow. So many of those. Nice job. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna lose them behind the deck. 
Oh, look at that. That's cool. There's some quality inch teeth in there. How was it finding them, man? Just, yeah, just piles of them. It was time. just like <laughs> two, three, four, six at a time. It just doesn't stop. I mean, That's awesome. I did find the most river worn tooth I have ever seen in my life. So, I have so a... when you get your hands on it, you'll go, How did you even realize that was a tooth? That's uh, close to it. <laughs> That's my heartbreaker right there. Wow. Right, that's a good looking pretty tooth. Look at this guy. G oh, that's a G dub, yeah, look at that. I've yeah. never even seen one. Yeah, that's yeah, a great that's cool. white. Yep. And that would have been a these are classic for great whites, just missing the roots. There it is. There's the oh most Oh my gosh, you think? Oh, I know. Oh, totally. Yeah, look at that. It's completely a tooth. <laughs> you win for the worn out tooth. Yeah, worn out oh, tooth man. award. Look at all these hangies. Wow, that's so cool. And this was uh, Christmas. like 70 minutes of just physically picking up teeth. What is the earth is that? Oh, dude, that is a whale bone. And Will, this is why you pick up whale bones. The marks. No. Dude, it's got two bite Check marks on it. Oh, wow. In straight lines. Oh, my God. That's super cool. Brad's finds. Let's go. Oh, Fraglodon. Look at that joker. That was a massive mag right there. So many. I would take a busted mag like that. So many Angies. What is that? He said he didn't pick up weird stuff. Yes, I picked up a few weird things. I did some rocks, things. Yeah, maybe I got some bone material. Maybe right. I didn't find any teeth. That one. That's kind of cool. And the and some of these are just absolutely smoked by the river, like that one. Smooth all the way around. Ooh, that's what we wanted to see. That's a beautiful little tooth. Maybe a Rick, probably an Angie. Angie. Look at that character river tooth. Man. Big Meg. Oh, that's a nice river tooth. Look at that one. Nothing going to cut you on that one. It's your grandpa shark. Brad, the camera guy, in front of the camera instead of behind it like I should be. Uh, here. Hunting for shark's teeth on the Cooper River with Matt and Will and Gary. Um, How long have you wanted to do this? Uh, probably 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So, definitely. So what was your day like today? Uh, today was a mess. Uh, today started out a little tough. We had some boat issues in the morning. Uh, got the got towed back to the marina, uh, to the boat ramp. Went on a hike and met a guy who had some used motors and were able to give us the parts we needed. And we got the boat fixed a couple hours later. and. Got back out on the river and uh, first dive was a little challenging and second dive was pretty amazing later in the day. Yeah? Yeah. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best dive you've ever had for shark's teeth or your best your best fossil hunting experience, what would you say the second dive today was? Uh, 9, because right. tomorrow's going to be a 10. That's the worst part about it. <laughs> what was the worst part about the second one was that Gary wasn't there. No, no, the ship going over top of you. Oh, yeah, the barge that came <laughs> over top of us. You were shaking when you came out. Yeah, it was a little rough. So, yeah.
dives, megalodons, death-defying, odds, incredible tides. Here's to us. You. <laughs> ah. What's your overall rating on the whole weekend? Exactly what we needed to do, and we learned exactly what we didn't need to do, and we did all of those things. Yeah, include. Yeah, that's fair. It's a fair assessment. Yeah. Call <laughs> spade a spade. dives you have on your belt will maybe 200 yeah so what was your experience with <laughs> this six dives of this uh, those were well at least three of those six were the three toughest dives I've ever done yeah those, that was tough it was just steep learning curve yeah and the current I've never experienced current like our first dive that was off the charts yeah would you go and do it again yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I you got to go when you know when they pick when the conditions are right. But I also felt like in our last dive, I, I really got the hang of it, so that gave me a lot more confidence. Yeah. So, what piece of advice after watching all the YouTube videos that you've seen would you tell somebody who wanted to go and do this? Never prepare too much. Make sure that you. Uh, well, number one, bring extra equipment you might lose a piece or two during a dive or two, uh, particularly in ridiculous current. Uh, and then I'd say, yeah, just make sure you prepare, probably talk to folks just like you guys did to try to get a lay of the land and, and potential sites. Yeah, and then stay calm under pressure. Yeah, that's the biggest part, stay calm. Well, thanks for the uh, chat. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a much different style and a much different edit than I normally do, but this was a much different trip. This was truly an adventure and an absolute blast to go and do. I want to take a couple of seconds and thank everyone who went with me. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my dad who was our safety, our boat operator, and we couldn't have done it without him. Thanks to Gary, Will, and Brad for making this such an epic fun time. We will do this again. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I worked very hard on it. And if you want to see more of this style content, you have to subscribe to do that. If you liked it, reach down there and click that like button. As always, I appreciate you coming and watching my adventures and our travels. Until next time, my name is Matt and this has been Gone Digging.